Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a hospital. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will also show you how to make an ambulance. An A&E waiting room. An examination room. A ward. And an operating room. Watch this video until the very end to see where we place the hospital in Mini City. This is the amount of space required to make the hospital. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing a smooth quartz block on the ground. And then place two light blue stained glass to the right of it. One, two and then place a smooth quartz block, two more glass, a smooth quartz block, and then behind the smooth quartz block, place two more glass, one, two, followed by a smooth quartz block, then extending to the right, place a glass, glass pane, leave a gap, and then place a smooth quartz block. The end result should look like this. Next, we want to raise up each one of the smooth quartz blocks that we placed by two. One, two. And we can connect them together across the top of each other. To give us this. What that will then allow us to do is extend the glass block and the glass pane up to meet the smooth quartz. We also want to fill this gap in here above the doorway by adding a few rows of smooth quartz extending forwards like so. Next, we want to focus on these two windows on the left. We want to place a 2x2 two two square of light blue glass above the positions of these windows, then add a layer of smooth quartz block on top of the glass windows, followed by another 2x2 two two square of glass block to form windows, then add a final layer of smooth quartz block on top of the glass like this, and then we are able to place smooth quartz block in between all of these windows to create frames, and then we want to place smooth quartz block extending across the front of the build like this, and also towards the back of the build, following the outer shape of the hospital. The end result will look like this. We then want to place a layer of smooth quartz slab above the edge of the entrance. This will line up to the smooth quartz that connects down to the ground on the right and left side here, like this. Next, come all the way up to the top front right hand corner of the hospital and count left one, two. Down by one and place a red concrete. Extend down two, one, two. Take this middle block, extend right and left. Moving on to the right side of the hospital, we want to place two glass block behind this smooth quartz. One, two. And then another smooth quartz. Two glass block. And then another smooth quartz. We then want to extend this smooth quartz all the way up and connect forwards to the front of the hospital. We then want to add a bunch of windows, so we want to add another layer of glass on top of this pre-existing layer, and then a layer of smooth quartz on top of that, and then we want to keep repeating this by placing a 2x2 two two square of glass with smooth quartz on top of it until we reach the very top of the hospital. We can then fill in between the windows in using smooth quartz, and there we go. Moving on to the back of the hospital, we want to extend this smooth quartz block to the right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then place two light blue glass, 
and then a smooth quartz block on the end. Similarly to what we just did on that side, we want to add windows upon windows until we reach the top of the build. So add another layer of glass, smooth quartz block on top. 2x2 two two square of glass, smooth quartz black on top. 2x2 two two layer of glass, smooth quartz block on top. We can then add a row of smooth quartz to the right of this, extend across the top to the left, and then we can fill this entire back section in using smooth quartz block. On the left side of the hospital, we want to place two glass extending backwards from this smooth quartz, one, two, and then a smooth quartz block, two more glass, one, two, and then we simply want to connect to the back of the hospital using smooth quartz. We are then going to add an extra layer of glass on top of each one of these windows, and then on this side of the build, we are simply going to fill the remaining part of the wall in using smooth quartz block. I think that now is the perfect time to dig out the entire ground floor of the hospital and replace that grass with oak planks. I'm also going to dig out underneath the windows and replace those with white concrete. You could also use smooth quartz as well, but white concrete is just different enough that it makes a slight contrast. We are also going to install all of the floors, so the floors sit in between all of the multiple sets of windows, and we are also just going to fill the floors in using oak planks. We'll have to do this two times in total. Eventually, we will get all the way up to the top of the hospital, which we are going to fill in using smooth quartz block. Last but not least, on the roof, we want to come to the back left-hand corner of it and extend inwards diagonally by one. Place a yellow carpet and extend forwards by four. One, two, three, four. Leave a gap of one to the right and place a parallel row of yellow carpet and then connect the middle blocks together. So this is a very simple helipad. With the general structure complete, we are going to work on the outside. So to start with, we are going to extend the right side of the hospital forwards to meet the edge of the grid and then fill that hole in using smooth stone. Extending all the way over to the left inside of the grid, digging out in front of the windows, removing all of the grass, we are going to replace this entire area with smooth stone as well. And I think that I'm also going to have smooth stone underneath the glass of the door at the entrance. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. Extending out of the back of the right corner of the hospital, we want to place a smooth quartz slab. Extend this all the way over to the edge of the grid and then forwards so that it extends also to the edge of the grid. We then want to dig out the entire area inside of this and replace it using cyan terracotta. We then want to form parking bays by placing one, two, three, four yellow carpet extending outwards from the smooth quartz. 
Behind this car park we want to make some artificial trees. To do this we want to line up with the corner of the car park and then extend backwards one, two, right one. Place one, two oak wood extending from the ground, leave a gap of three, one, two, three, and then place one, two oak wood. We then want to place oak leaves on top, extend the oak leaves outwards in every single direction. Then add a layer of oak leaves on top of the square that we have now formed. So we can either have them look a little bit stumpy like this or we can have a three by three cube instead. So it's kind of up to you which way you want to go. I think that I like the fuller tree better. I'm also going to add some oak leaves extending all the way along the left side of the hospital and then around the back to join to the smooth quartz slab. With the majority of the outside of the hospital complete, we can now head inside and work on the interior. Beginning near the entrance of the build, we want to extend the smooth quartz block in between these windows to the left by three using light blue glass. One, two, three. Then place a smooth quartz block, oak door, smooth quartz block, oak door, and then two smooth quartz to connect back to this wall. We then want to extend the smooth quartz block here in between these two doorways to the back wall and then we can fill in the rest of these two walls like this and on the front we want to extend this smooth quartz upwards and then extend the glass up like so. So an option inside of the hospital is to underneath the glass such as here we can add a different colour if we like or maybe even some sea lanterns to provide a little bit of light. It also helps to kind of highlight the fact that this is how we get up and down the hospital. Most of downstairs is a waiting room, so we are going to add a brown glazed terracotta with an oak leaf here next to this corner pillar of smooth quartz. We are then going to leave a gap of one, place a smooth quartz stair, gap of one, smooth quartz stair, and do the same leaving a gap backwards. You can then, if you like, place some light grey carpet in front of these just to give it a little bit of detail and we could even add like an emergency bed here in the corner with some oak signs on the side of it just in case anybody was in particularly poor condition. Maybe even a lantern here as well just to once again provide a little bit of light. Would it be too much to have a couple of light grey concrete here with a brewing stand here and an item frame here and a potion of healing just for emergency situations? It's starting to feel a little bit more practical in here now, I think. So we've established that this right side is to get up and down the hospital, but this left side here is an examination room. So inside this room, we want a bed stuffed in the corner, left of it a light grey concrete, and then we want to place a painting on the wall above this, a one by one, with a pressure plate in front of it and a stone button in front of that. And then in the corner here, we just want to have like, say, a stairs or something similar to that. And what we essentially have is a bed for the patient, a seat for whoever is going to be examining, and of course a computer and a cabinet filled with useful stuff. With the ground level pretty much complete, we can now work on the stairs. So coming all the way into the stairwell, we want to place a smooth port stair here in this position specifically. We then want to place another stair up and behind it, excavate above us a little bit just so that we can actually like walk up and down this like so. And then at the top here, we want to leave a gap and then a door will go here and either side of the door will be smooth quartz block. We want to box this in using smooth quartz as well on both sides, and then if we enter the stairwell once again, we want to place a stair here, so this is opposite the top stair, and of course we want to do pretty much the exact same thing just going the other way, so all the way up to the top here. We want a stair, or rather a door, in the exact same position as we do on the previous level, and then we want to place smooth quartz block either side of the door, then fill this section in here, we can enter, we can leave, it's a relatively clean stairwell and we can even change that block into a smooth quartz as well. It's up to you whether you want to keep these oak planks or not. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a personal choice. So you, you can kind of like change 
these blocks in the stairwell, kind of like surrounding it and what have you, into uh, smooth quartz instead. And it, you might like it a little bit better. You might prefer to keep, for that very reason that has just happened twice, you might want to keep some of the like the structure of this area as well. So it's, it's completely up to you how you want to do it, but you can keep the oak if you like, or you can kind of like change it into smooth quartz. It's completely visual, so. Anyway, moving up to the next floor. So, up here, we are going to have our first and only ward. So, in the corner, against this window, we want to place a light grey concrete, on top of it a brewing stand, stone button in front of it, next to it a bed, and then on the wall, extending from not the block on the ground, but the block above, two end rods, and then two white banners. So we are going to repeat this two more times. So we have a handy cabinet full of medicine and what have you. We of course have the brewing stand for like the drip, the IV. We have a bed and we have a curtain for privacy. So again, we want to repeat this two more times, extending across. just like this. And then on the wall opposite, we want to have a couple of sinks. So to start with, a light gray concrete here, just extending from the corner, and then a cauldron, tripwire hook above it. And we also want to have stuff on the area next to the sink as well. So on top of here, this counter, an item frame and a potion of healing. And then we're going to leave a gap of two. And then we could even have like a double sink as well. Then we can like leave a gap and then we can have like a, a light gray concrete here cauldron, tripwire hook, item frame, and then like potion of healing. So of course there's always plenty of places to wash your hands, keep yourself clean. You could even have like an armor stand with, uh, with like scrubs and what have you on it if you wanted to as well. That might even make sense. Anyway, we can also decorate the walls with some paintings as we see fit. We can add potted plants to the corner of the room, maybe even another painting. I think that that would look pretty good. And once again, you know, potted plants and what have you everywhere. Make it nice and cozy in here. You can even add a little bit of carpet if you do. So think that that would, I mean, what, what would be the best configuration for this? Maybe just a couple on the left side. And there we go. I think that that looks pretty good. Moving up to the top and final floor, we have to make a small operating room. So to do this, first of all, we want to extend this wall an additional row across. And then in front of it, we want to place a couple of cauldrons, tripwire hooks above them. Then to the right, a an armor stand. And we want to outfit it with surgical clothing, in my case, armor. But, you know, diamond would probably be the way to go. Then, we want to place a couple of rows of light blue glass extending from behind the armor stand. Then, smooth quartz block extending across as well. Then, an iron door. We then want to connect back to this wall using smooth quartz. Place a stone button next to the door so that we can go in and out and we want to have the same thing along the inside. And then for the outside of this room, we want to have a wheelchair. So this is going to be a polished blackstone stairs with oak trap doors left and right of it. A plausible wheelchair, if you ask me. And then on this wall here, kind of opposite the wheelchair, so like right next to it kind of, we want to have a white bed with oak signs along the side of the white bed, and this is of course just like a gurney or something similar to that. We also want a potted plant next to the door over here, and then all we have to do is just make it a little bit nicer, I think, out here. So I'm thinking some checkered carpet, just kind of like around this area here. So a mixture of white and light grey will look nice. And then some paintings along the wall, preferably different ones just as we extend towards the back. And it is a little bit dark here, so maybe a lantern just kind of like propped up in the corner like this. I think that that will do. 
So finally, just heading into the actual operating area, we want to place a bed right in the middle of the room against this back wall, and then light grey concrete either side of the bed, leaving a gap, some stone buttons in front of the light grey concretes to look like cabinets containing different things. We might even actually remove one of these and place an end rod with a brewing stand on top to look like an IV for the anaesthetic or whatever may be required for the patient. Then we can place a couple of item frames on top of each one of the light grey concretes and we can fill those with operating tools so I like the like the iron uh, iron weapons and the different tools I think that they look like stuff and I mean that would look pretty horrifying hopefully they won't use a sword but it kind of looks like a scalpel and I mean that that just looks grisly I don't, I don't know what that could possibly be for hopefully I don't find out so then we want to add a couple of potions of healing on one side and that, that's honestly kind of like it this is the operating room complete and with the interior of the hospital complete, that leaves us one last thing to add, if you would like to add it. I'm also going to show you how to make a small ambulance. So, the placement of this I will leave up to you. I'm going to keep it separate from the hospital myself until we actually add this thing into Mini City properly and then I'll kind of figure out a place for it. But, to make the ambulance, we want to place a smooth quartz block on the ground a furnace to the right of that, and then another smooth quartz block. Place glow item frames in front of the smooth quartz block and ladders in front of the furnace. We then want to place regular glass pane on top of each one of the blocks that we've just placed with smooth quartz slab on top of the glass. We then want to place black concrete extending backwards from each one of these smooth quartz, and then we want to place another smooth quartz behind, black concrete, and then smooth quartz, like so. We are then going to fill the bottom of the ambulance in with whatever material you think might be best. I'm just gonna go with smooth quartz. And then let's add some stone buttons to the wheels. We also want to raise up on top of the black concretes and the smooth quartz, we want to add two additional rows of smooth quartz. And these rows can actually connect together across the top, like so, as well. Next, I actually want to make the inside of the ambulance, so unfortunately we do have to knock out some of the roof that we've just made. We want to place a polished black stone stair here in between the front pair of wheels, and then I'm just going to repair the roof just like this. And then inside of the ambulance, we are going to have a white bed behind the stair, so of course we have the driver's seat, we have a bed for the patient, iron door on the back of the ambulance with a stone button just so that we can get in and out. I'm going to place redstone torches left and right of the top of the ambulance just on both sides behind the smooth quartz like this. And then all we have to do is make some signs. So throw down a loom, open it up, place a white banner in there with some red dye. We first of all want to add the red pale pattern followed by the red fest pattern. So not only do we have the England flag, but we also have the kind of like universal we're here to help flag which is not what I would consider the England flag, but definitely like the red plus that we have on the hospital. So basically this is just to further illustrate that this is an ambulance. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have fully completed the entire hospital build. However, we have but one thing left to do. Let's add this bad boy and the ambulance to Mini City. You know what guys, this is actually a pivotal moment in Mini City. We have had an L-shaped road for quite some time, but to place the hospital, we are going to extend the road into a T-shape, and I'm going to opt to place the hospital across from the school. Perfect. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep up to date with Mini City. This thing is expanding rapidly. It's looking great. And honestly, I'm so happy with the support that it has gotten so far. I can't wait for this to grow even faster and further than I had imagined. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.